Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Shankaraj. Today we are going to talk about what is the difference between Pimbak 6th edition and 7th edition. You are going to travel with me with my videos on preparation of PMP or any certifications in PMI. I am going to walk through or help you understanding various standards in PMI. This particular video is specifically going to talk about at high level what is the major difference between PIMBOK 6th edition and 7th edition. I am seeing a very major difference from the 6th edition and 7th edition. Till 6th edition, generally Pimbak talks about you know a guide to product management body of knowledge <coughs> and the standard of project management as two sections for both 6th edition and 7th edition. In the 6th edition, in the guide section, Pimbak will talk about knowledge areas like integration, scope, schedule, cost, quality, resource management, communications, risk, procurement, and stakeholder management. So they highly detailed about all the knowledge areas. Right? What are the different knowledge areas available in the project management? And then as part of the standard for the project management, they talk about project management phases like initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing the project. And final section will talk about appendix and glossary and that was that was presenting in 6th edition. But what happened in 7th edition is, instead of talking about guide section, they're talking about the standard of project management as a first section. And then they're detailing about guide to the project management body of knowledge. As part of in the seventh edition, as part of uh, standard for the project management, they talk about you know, the main they give main focus to the system for value delivery, and they talk about few major principles in the project management, like stewardship, tailoring, team, quality, stakeholders, complexity, value, risk, system thinking, adaptability and resiliency, leadership, and change. These are the uh, 12 principles is being predominantly discussed in 7th edition of PIMPAC game. Right? So what I am seeing a uh, big change between 6th edition and 7th edition is in the structure itself. The way is PIMPAC is being uh, dealt, the way it is being uh, <coughs> traveling you know, for their uh, members. I am seeing a huge difference in terms of structure itself. I am seeing a lot of, you know, uh, addition in terms of value delivery, a lot of addition in terms of agile and uh, lean and system thinking, those kind of uh, uh, topics being included you now very well actually. Yes, next section, the big portion of the gate to Pimbak, they are talking about three major sections it talks about. One is project performance domains. What are the domains involved in project performance? Like, you know, it is defining some, you know, uh, uh, seven or eight domains it talks about, like stakeholders, planning, team, project work, development, delivery, approach and life cycle, measurement and uncertainty. These are the domains as part of project performance domains they're talking about. And then they're talking about tailoring and models, methods and artifacts, right? They talk about what are the different models and methods and artifacts which can be used for this project management principles and project performance domains, how we can tailor those things also been dealt as part of gate to project management body of knowledge in the seventh edition. And then as normal appendix and glossary and index. So what is the major difference I'm seeing from the sixth edition to seventh edition is the structure itself changing. And I'm seeing a lot of inclusivity in terms of agile and lean and value delivery uh, concepts value. Right. So thanks for listening.